Hello, hello, guys. How are you today? Hello, good evening. In my case, I feel really tired. Tired? Why? Did you work? Yes, I work and because today is Monday and Monday always is really tired. <laughs> because I, mean, I, I I don't I don't want to wake up really early. <laughs> I know. It's the same thing with me, you know. It's Monday, right? Uh on Mondays, uh it's like the lazy sun. Have you heard that song? It's I think it's from Bruno Mars. The lace is on it today. I don't feel like to do anything. Something like that. <laughs> uh, I just want to lay in my bed. That's a good song. So, así me siento los lunes. Just like laid on the bed, you know, just like being sleeping. <laughs> right. But anyways, you know, I mean, we got to, you got to work, you know, we got to do the things that we got to do. So that's what it is, right? Okay. So... All right, I see we got right now seven people. We're going to wait a little bit. So, guys, um, do you have any any question, anything you want to ask, anything you want to say? Alguna pregunta que tengan sobre algún tema de los que ya hemos visto? Uh, anything? Anything you guys want to say? No? Yes, could it be? Sí, tal vez. No? No, just just uh just so you guys remember, we actually have I will say a we actually have uh I mean this is like the fourth uh week, and uh, this is like the last week right the last four sessions, and then we actually uh finish this this level right uh that's what we're gonna be doing right so. Um, just for you to know, today we are going to start, uh, the, the other session, um, I'm sorry, section, uh, which is actually the section, what? Section five, right? So that's what we're going to be working with today. And let me share my screen so you guys can see it. Give me just a minute. Just a minute. Oh, right. There we go. Okay. So let me just go back here. Give me a second. All right. Give me just a minute. Okay, cool. All right. Um now, guys, today I would like to start a class in a little uh, different way, I will say. Um, you know, normally what I do in my classes is that I would just go ahead and project one phrase and we normally will give uh, um, what I call like an opinion. Well, not I, I don't call it. I mean, it's an opinion, an opinion about a phrase. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to put uh, a phrase right here. I mean, I'm doing this this week because I consider that now you have a little of confidence. And so you probably can say a few things, um, you know. I didn't start with that on the first uh, class because I thought it was like too Zoom. But uh, now we can we can actually do it, okay? And give me just a second. Okay. Now, this is the phrase that I would like to discuss with you today. And it says like that. So, Catherine, do me a favor. Can you read the phrase? Just, just read the phrase. Okay. Well done is better than well said. Okay. So, well done is better than well said. So, now guys, I'll give you one minute and tell me. What do you think about that phrase? What does it mean for you? ¿Qué piensan sobre eso? Aquí se puede dar su opinión. No hay respuestas correctas o incorrectas. Aquí es lo que usted crea de eso. Ok, si para usted eso significa que ahorita tiene que ir a comprar pupusas y comerse unas 20 de un solo, está bueno, pero dígamelo en inglés. Ok, but tell me that in English, ok? <laughs> so that's what I'm expecting. Ok, les decía, normalmente yo siempre comienzo la clase así, con una frasecita, pero 
No lo comencé a hacer con ustedes al principio, pero ahorita sí considero que ya podemos hacerlo. Ya tenemos un poquito de confianza en cuanto a speaking English. Ok, entonces, let's do it. Dos, tres palabras that you can say but in English, pero en inglés, and then we're good. So, volunteers, what do you think about the phrase? Well done is better than well said. Mm -hmm. What do you think, guys? What, what, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Nobody? Nadie? Algún voluntario? Elijo yo el voluntario, entonces? Do I choose the volunteer? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. ¿Cómo decir? El mejor, es mejor hacerlo que decirlo. Es, mm -hmm. What do you think? ¿Qué piensan? Una opinión, tranquilos, no pasa nada. Este es un lugar seguro, nadie les va a decir nada. <laughs> This is a safe place. Uh huh. What do you think, guys? Nadie, nadie quiere dar una opinión. Vamos, sin miedo, sin miedo al éxito. ¿Qué les pasa? Ah, hoy vienen de, hoy vienen de tímidos, ¿no? porque es lunes. <laughs> nadie, nadie con like shy people. You're not shy. Ustedes no son tímidos. ¿Qué les pasa? <laughs> uh, you're not shy. What's going on? Va, elijo yo el voluntario entonces. Sería bueno, teacher, de que mm -hmm. nos lo contestara tal vez usted en inglés y, y luego nos pusiera a que nosotros cuál sería como la respuesta, pero ya todo en inglés, no en español. O sea, que usted lo conteste en, en inglés y nosotros le escuchamos, entonces ya sabemos más o menos cómo, cómo podríamos ir. Ya lo entendí. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Ok, good, okay. good, 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 good. Okay. Okay. Ajá. So, you know, it's well done is better than well said. Esa es la frase. Y eso les dije en español, es como mejor hacerlo que decirlo. Right. So, I think, this is my opinion, this is my opinion, this is my opinion, I think that is right. It's better to do the things than saying things. Why? Because you show to the people what you are doing, right? Instead of just saying what you're, what you're going to do. So in my opinion, actions talk more than words. That's my opinion. Mm -hmm. This is my opinion. So, what is your opinion about the phrase, guys? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's your opinion? Come on, just two opinions. That's all I need. Two opinions. Those participations. Two participations. That's it. ¿Quién se quiere echar el team al hombro? ¿Quién? ¿Nadie? <risa> uh -huh. Vamos, chicos, sin miedo. Dos palabritas, tres palabritas en inglés. That's good. La idea, la idea de esto es practicar el speaking a little bit. Uh -huh. I, I seen so my opinion. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Hasta ahí. <risa> <risa> ok, ok, that's good. I mean, that's good. That's good. That's very nice. Así vamos a ir. Poco a poco, poco a poco. Ok. So, you can say, esa es mi opinión también. That's, uh, oh, eso es lo que yo pienso. That's exactly what I think. Uh -huh. Ajá. Funny. Sorry. Go ahead, Joanna. Go ahead. Something funny. I don't know. Uh, I mean, you can say anything, anything that you want, you know, it's, everything is welcome. Mm -hmm. um, si de repente, if you don't know, um, I will say how to say the things in English. You can ask me, teacher, how do you say da -da 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 in English? And then I can tell you. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. 
thank you, Omar. You you uh you did it. Uh, that was very good. Uh huh. Catherine, what do you think about that? What do you think about the phrase? I okay. see you want to talk. Okay, I think that is a really better phrase because in in my in my life I have a lot of things in my in my mind, but if not necessarily in my mind because I need in my real life real mm -hmm. life and for that reason I think that it's better doing things and I can say that I can do I can do it and I can do a lot of things and my strength and my weight mm -hmm. is, it, is it weight right Oh, no, you finished? Yeah? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I agree with what you said, Catherine. I mean, sometimes we just have things in our mind, you know, and things that we want to say or everything. But at the end, it's better doing things than saying things. So it's better to say or to, I mean, it's better to do the things instead of saying things, right? So thank you, guys. Okay? That was a very nice first time okay tomorrow we will have another phrase mañana vamos a tener otra frase okay así que mañana sí voy a hacer la ruleta ahí de la suerte a ver quién le toca <laughs> all right so get ready for tomorrow okay get ready al que entre, al que entre de último a ese le va a tocar hablar <laughs> okay now let's continue let's continue okay guys so that's pretty much what um what we have been uh, working with okay so now um i would like to take the attendance okay so i'm gonna call your name and if you guys are here just say i'm here or you can say present or anything you know anything that you uh, feel comfortable saying it's okay all right so let's see let's see Ta -da 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 -da. Okay, so today is the 10th. All right, cool. All right, so July 10th. By the way, guys, as I said, this is actually like the last week of this of this uh level. Um, you know, and so we're gonna be working on section uh five this week. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So I'm gonna call the attendance and the first one on the list that is Aaron Omar. I'm here. Thank you so much. Ada Lisette. Okay, Anna Beatriz. Present. Anna Esmeralda. Present. Mm -hmm. Anna Noemi. Presente. Thank you. Uh, Carlos Vladimir. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Consuelo del Rosario. I'm here. Elida Maritza. Present. Flor de Maria. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jasmine Magdalena. Present. Thank you. Joanna Guadalupe. Okay. Uh -huh. Jonathan Alexander. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Then I'm gonna go with um Jose Ismael. Jose, sorry, Jose Ismael. My bad, my bad. Yeah, he's not here today. Uh Jose Salvador. I'm here. Catherine Tatiana is not here. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kenny Guadalupe. I'm here. Marilyn Yvonne. He's not here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who said that? But she's here, right? I don't he's know. Such... <laughs> okay. Anyways. Um, Marlene Concepcion. 
Okay, I see you. Uh, Marvin Omar. Um, give me a second. Let me just check and see. All right. Anyways, I'm gonna continue here, and then we'll go with Nix. Uh, Nidia, sorry. I'm here. Nixia. Present. Thank you, Omar Luzardo. Present. Thank you, Rebecca Beatrice. Present. Right. Uh, Reina Lisette. Ricardo Alfonso. Rosario Cristabel. Present, teacher. Thank you. Wilber. I'm here. Thank you. Yesenia. Present. Thank you. And we got Selena. I'm here. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So thank you guys for helping me with the attendance. I really appreciate this a lot. So um, with that being said, you know, with that being done, now we're going to continue with the next uh, part of this. And as I was telling you guys, uh, what we have today is uh, section number five okay now remember for this uh week you are going to work on section number five and also we got the it says right here final exam okay so that's what you're gonna be working with guys all right so now let's go ahead and let's start with this right here um as you remember okay da -da -da. As you remember, we have been talking about a couple of different things right here, um, you know, and uh, basically we were talking about the present continuous, just no questions, WH questions, you know, and all that things, you know, that's what we were talking about. Okay, so um, now what we're going to be doing right here, it's the following. Now, let me just... Go in the book here. Well, it's just loading still. All right, but listen. So, uh, the first objective for this uh, section is that by the end of this uh, class, you will be able to talk, you know, talk. That means that you get to talk, you know, like speak, right? About different cities and international time zones. <clears throat> Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones, which is something we have been doing already. We have been practicing uh, conversations, but this time it will be about two people in a different time zone. All right, now that's what it is. So let's go next right here. It says vocabulary and conversation. What time is it there, you know? So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play the audio and I expect you guys to uh, pay attention and we'll just, I mean, pay attention to the video, okay? And let's check for the words. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about different cities. Can you hear that, by the way? Yes? You heard it? Yeah, okay, cool. Let's go for it. And international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Let's get started by listening to a short audio program to practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico. Okay, let's listen to that and let's repeat. You can keep your microphone off. Con su micrófono apagado, si ustedes quieren pueden, eh, no si ustedes quieren, repito. <laughs> let's listen and repeat, please. Los Angeles. Give, give me a second. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver. Los Angeles. Mexico City. Lima. Montreal. New York City. 
San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, London, Casablanca, Cape Town, Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Now let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Now it's your time to practice the conversation that we just heard. And also, I would like for you to answer the following questions in our discussion forums. By looking at the map, which cities are in the same time zone? Which cities are in your time zone? All right. So those are actually, you know, the time zones as we were talking. Now, oh, right. Now that's a conversation there. But those are our, that's basically, you know, the time zone as we were talking. Now, there is something that you have to keep in mind and is that, well, probably you know this, but we have different time zones all over the world, right? And some song might be, uh, I will say, uh, kind of or the same as ours and some, some of them are not, right? So, but that's what I want you to focus on, guys. And this is what it is. Give me just a second. Here we go. All right. Now, these are the time zones, all right? So, um... Let me just let me know. Let me just make it big right here so you guys can see it better. I think that will be better for you. All right. Okay, so these are the time zones that we got. You now we got Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Sao Paulo, which is Brasilia, San Juan, New York City, Montreal, London, uh, I guess. Casablanca, Cape Town, Ripped, Moscow, uh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Okay, so those are, I would say, like the different time zones that we have, okay? Time zones. Uh, that's what, what it is. I mean, as I said, it's related to the time. For example, here in El Salvador right now, it's uh, 7, 19. But probably in the, I would say in, in, in Lima, in Peru, that can be a different uh, different time, right? In Tokyo, it's not the same time as here in El Salvador right now. That's why that is a time zone, you know, which is different times all over the world. It's never, uh, I would say, the same time uh, in all, all the world, right? That's what it is. Um, now, I want to ask you something. Which cities are in the same time zones? What do you think? Which cities are in the same time zones? Any idea? Mm -hmm. No? Mexico, Mexico City? Mexico City, yeah. It could be in the same time zone as, as what? What do you think? Well, as our, I mean, as, as us in El Salvador, they have the same time zone. I mean, sometimes it's because of the daylight saving. I think they do have daylight saving. Um, I don't know if they call it that way, but they move the hours, right? Eso es lo que hacen. Ustedes han escuchado el daylight saving en Estados Unidos. El daylight saving es mueven las horas. Eh, hay una por temporadas, right? Ellos mueven dos horas o una hora. Eh, el reloj y entonces boom that's it you know so se hace más larga la noche o 
lo que sea. Porque, um, por eso se llama Daylight Saving, para ahorrar la luz del día. Uh -huh. So, that's what they do. So, por eso es que a veces, por ejemplo, en Georgia, ahorita ellos van dos horas, I think, ahead, or, sí, creo que adelante, pero a veces solo van una hora adelante. Entonces, a comparación de nosotros. ¿Por qué? Why? Because they have the daylight saving. Entonces, está relacionado con las time zones. And that's what we're talking about, okay? So, but uh, this is pretty much what it is. So, guys, eh, let's do something. Um, let's practice our conversation right here. So, I want you guys to raise your virtual hand so we can just go ahead and practice the conversation. And let's see who wants to practice uh, his or her reading, okay? Uh -huh. Thank you, Omar. Thank you so much. Okay. Alguien más? Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. Mantengan su manita virtual levantada, please. No esta, sino la virtual. Not this one, but the virtual. <laughs> All right. So let's see. I'm going to go with the first uh, couple right here. It's going to be Carlos and Consuelo. So Carlos, you're going to be John and Consuelo. You're going to be Debbie. Let me make it a little bigger. Hello. There you go. Hello. Hi, baby. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. You're Australia? I'm at conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is it there? It's t it's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. Thanks. Okay, I am awake now. No problem. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Now let's go with the next couple. That's going to be um, Aaron and Joanna Guadalupe. So Aaron, you're going to be John and... Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, the other way. Aaron, you're going to be John and Joanna, you're going to be Debbie. Hello. Hi, Debbie. It's John. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I am conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time it is here? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m. I am. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, next couple is going to be Wilbur and Jose. So, Wilbur, you're going to be Debbie, and Jose uh, Salvador, you are going to be John. Let's go. Okay. Um, teacher, uh... Um, how do you say awake? Uh, awake. Mm -hmm. Awake. Awake. Mm -hmm. Awake. Oh, okay. Um, hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney. Remember? All oh, right. What time? What time is it? Is it there? Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's ten p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock. Four a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. 
Okay. Um, anyways, no. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. So the next couple that's going to be um, Flor de Maria. You are going to be Debbie. And I'm going to ask. Let's see. Rebecca, I'm going to be You're going to be John. <laughs> Let's go. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I had confidence in Sydney. Remember? All right. Right time is here. It's 10 p.m. Um, it's for a club there in Los Angeles, right? Yes. Four o'clock on the morning. Four a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. Thanks. Okay, I am away now. Okay, thank you so much, guys. One more couple. Let's see. Aaron, do you have a question? Sí, solo una pregunta, profesor. Tell me. Teacher, perdón. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Eh, en la parte baja donde dice it's ten p.m. Que contesta John, hay una parte donde dice they're in Los Angeles. No debería ser they're in the Angeles. Ah, good job, good job. They're in Los Angeles. Um, es que el nombre de la ciudad es así. Está en, está, está en español. Uh, a eso se refiere, ¿verdad? Que dice Los, ¿verdad? Correcto, correcto. Ajá. Sí. sí eh, porque la ciudad, o sea, es un nombre propio y los nombres propios normalmente no los traducimos. Por ejemplo, no vamos a traducir pupusas uh, porque es un nombre propio. We, no, we, no vamos a decir pupusation, no. We will say pupusas and that's it. Uh -huh. Entonces, hay nombres propios que se quedan así, tal cual, por el ser uh, nombres propios. Uh -huh. That's why. Uh -huh. Ok, uh, de perfecto. Hecho, de hecho, hay, hay, en Estados Unidos hay, hay bastante bastantes bastante nombres de ciudades en español. A lot. Uh, hay uno que se... Uh, creo que esto era en uh, Texas. Hay una ciudad que se llama La Cañada. Uh -huh. Right. So, I mean, a lot of things like that. But yeah, that's what it is. Entonces, um, you know, what we call proper names, we don't translate them. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, guys. Um, so we do have to work, I would say, with uh, pronunciation right here. Okay, that's what we need to do. For example, we'll say, hello, hi, Debbie, this is John. I'm calling, we don't say calling, but co, con o, like calling. I'm calling from Australia. We're calling from Australia. It says, I'm at a conference, conference. Okay, you can repeat that words that I'm repeating as well. Conference in Sydney. Remember? Just, oh, right. It's going to be, ah, de veras. Oh, right. Uh -huh. What time is it there? What time is it there? Okay, and it says, it's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning, 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay, I'm awake, awake. That's okay, I'm awake now. Awake means like, despierto, right? Awake. Mm -hmm. So, so just be careful with the words um, calling, okay? Calling, conference, calling, conference. Then we have um, right there, okay? And that's pretty much it. And then the last one right here, right here, awake, awake. Awake. Okay, questions about the meaning of any of these words, guys? Any question that you have about this conversation? No? No questions? 
or yes? Yes or no? No? Todo bien? Todo claro? It's all clear? Yes? All right. Now, that's pretty much what we're going to be working with, guys. Okay? Now, uh, -da -da, give me a second. Two, two. All right. That's pretty much what we have. Um, all right, cool. Anyways, so let's go with the next one right now. And it says, our next adjective uh, for today's class is, that by the end of this class, you will be able to ask and answer questions using time expressions and practice giving the, giving the time. So that is what we're going to practice today, guys. And that's what we're going to learn. We know about the time zones, you know, we saw a conversation there. And now we are going to learn how to give the time, okay? So uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to play the video. I need you to listen. And if we have to repeat something, we do it, okay? Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer questions using time expressions. Let's get started by looking at some clocks which are expressing the time. Let's listen and repeat. It's one o'clock. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty five. It's a quarter to two. Now, what we want to do is make our own examples by changing the time on those clocks. I'm going to change the time for each and express a different time. Let's do it. Instead of one o'clock, we will say two. Notice that the only thing that we will change is the number for now. It's two o'clock. For our uh, next example, it's 2.05. After that, it's 2.15. Then it's 2.30 or it's half past two. Next, it's 2.40 or it's 20 to three. Our last example, it's a quarter to three or it's 2.45. I would like for you to express the time now. I will give you the numbers and you should write the time. Now I would like to go over some time expressions. Let's listen and repeat. In the morning, a.m. Noon, p.m. In the afternoon, p.m. In the evening, p.m. At night, p.m. Midnight a.m. Let's uh, practice this time expressions now. Let's listen and repeat. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's 7 a.m. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 7 o'clock in the evening. It's 7 p.m. It's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. In this class, we've covered how to express the time in different ways. It's important that you learn all those different ways to express the time. What I would like for you to do now is to practice expressing the time in different ways. I'll write the expressions and you should work on expressing the time in a different way. For example, it's nine o'clock in the evening. Another way to express this is by saying it's 9 p.m. Now I would like for you to change these expressions in a different way. It's eight o'clock in the morning. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's three in the afternoon. It's 3 a.m. It's 6 p.m. It's 4 p.m. It's 12 p.m. Okay, 
So those are basically the different ways that we have to express the time. And that's what we're gonna be learning today, guys. You might know, you might not know this or you might know it, but uh, we're gonna spend a little time on this, you know, cause it's very important. It's part of what we need to do actually. So what I wanna say right here to you guys is the following. Now, we choose the numbers, you know, to express the time, and you already know that. Okay, now, for example, it says one right here, and it will say it's one o'clock. Now, when we are saying o'clock, it means like it's nothing else. I mean, o'clock, you know, we'll say, uh, let me just change it. Uh, we'll say it's... And then I'm going to say uh, two o'clock. Now, what you guys need to know about this is that o'clock means exactly the time. It's not one. Uh, I mean, it's not two, five, two, seven. No, it's one. I mean, it's two o'clock. I'm sorry. I mean, it's on time. No, nothing else. No seconds, no minutes. It's just exactly the time. In other words, as we will say in Spanish, en punto, o'clock, right? So it's two o'clock, right? That's what we will say. Then, that's, that's basically what we say. Um, now, if by any chance it's not an o'clock time, then we can just go ahead and say exactly the way it is. For example, right here, it's 1.05. That means, uh, you know, that it's 1 p.m. in five minutes, you know, it's 1.05. Or you can say it's five after one. O como dicen todavía por ahí algunos, eh, bueno, mi tío dice la hora así, dice cinco después de las diez, dice. <laughs> Entonces, sí, se puede decir así también, like, it's five after one, okay? O pueden decir un cuarto después de las tres. It's a quarter, um, well, we'll talk about that, okay? It's a quarter after one, okay? For example, that's another one, cuarto, right? A quarter. After means después, after, okay? That's what it is. And then it says, it's, or you can say it's one fifteen, okay? La una quince, or it's a quarter after one, o es un cuarto después de las una. Right? So that's what it is. So you can say it that way, okay? So you have different ways to say it. Tienen varias formas de decirlo. Okay? You can say exactly the time. You can use the quarter word and you're okay as well. Or you can say, for example, in this one, it says it's 1.30. Okay, one and 30 minutes, right? And then it says it's 1.40. Or you can say it's 20 to two. 20 a las, two means a las, dos, right? Or you can say it's 140. It's up to you. Entonces, cuando quieran decirlo así, ustedes pueden decirlo. Pueden usar la palabra tú, que es como decir a las, en este caso, hay 20 a las dos, o simplemente lo pueden decir así de una vez, it's 140. O si quieren, si de repente es un cuarto lo que falta o lo que pasa de la hora exacta, ustedes lo dicen. For example, for example, it's a quarter to two. Un cuarto a las dos. Right? Or you can say it's 145. Up to you. So we have different ways to say it. So just repeat, uh, repeat after me. This is o'clock. O'clock. Then you have after, a quarter after, okay? Then we got, well, we'll say it's 22, two, and a quarter, a quarter to two. So that's pretty much what we have about the time. And the question that we ask is this one, you know? We'll say something like, what time is it? 
Hey, what time is it right now? Okay, what time is it? So, pregunta, guys. Hey, what time is it right now? Mm -hmm. What time? It's at 7.41. It's 7.41. Good job. Uh-huh. Another way to say it, otra forma de decirlo. It's another way to say it. Mm -hmm. It's 20 to 8. Yes, it's 20 to 8. Solo que me mintió. Son, faltan 19 ahorita. No 20. <laughs> Pero yes, it's 19. Okay, yeah. It's 19 to 8. Uh -huh. So that's what it is, okay? You see, I mean, the time is easy, you know? The time is easy to say it. Ok, y como ya no sabemos los números hasta el 2000, hasta cuánto nos lo aprendimos, entonces, ¿verdad? ya podemos decir la hora, y como solo hay 24 horas, entonces la puta está fácil, ¿verdad? <ríe> ok, questions about this. Uh -huh. ¿No? Ok, but, ajá, ok, Flor. Y... Oh, Consuelo, chao. Hola. Chao, chao, chao. Y en este caso, eh, no se dice PM o... Yeah, PM. PM, yeah. okay. PM, ajá, ahorita vamos a eso. Mm -hmm. Ahorita vamos a eso. About if, si es en la noche, well, you can say PM. If it is in the morning, you can say AM. Mm -hmm. that's, okay. that's what you can okay. say. Uh -huh. okay. Una pregunta. Eh, okay, eh, voy con los que tienen la manita levantada. So, Flor de María, tell me, what's your question? Cuando es, por ejemplo, la una y cinco, one mm -hmm. hoy of sign. Oh, oh, el o oh, o oh, oh, eh, es i cero. cero. O, el cero cero. Ajá, por ahí le por ahí le soltaron. One o oh, five. <laughs> okay. Sí. Yeah, so it's one o oh, five. Entonces one o oh, five. Eh, es como decir la una y cinco, ¿verdad? pero porque o sea, normalmente, eh, normalmente nosotros decimos la 1 y 5, pero puede usted decirlo de esta, de esta forma, 1, 5. Entonces, ¿cómo decir la 1, 0, 5? Pero el bien es, I mean, it's 1, 5, we know that. Pero sí, sí lo vamos a decir así, 1, 5, 1, 7, 1, 3, 1, 9, y así. Mm -hmm. It depends. Uh, so Aaron, eh, solo una consulta, este, en inglés no se ocupa eh, la hora militar, le dicen. Yes, 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 you, you, you use it, you use it. Um, they can say, we meet at the 16 hours, for example, or we meet at the 14 hours. Mm -hmm. So, yes, you use it. Uh -huh. They use it a lot. Not all okay. people use it, but they do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it can be the same thing, but it's not as common, Um, I will say. Mm -hmm. But it's not as common as this one, but yeah, it's, it's used. Okay, after that, and this is what, um, and this is actually what uh, Consuelo was asking. Okay, we're gonna work on this and then we're going to come back to this exercise, okay? So we're gonna work on this part first. I'm gonna explain this to you first. It's like saying, it's seven o'clock. As I said, o'clock means like o'clock, right? No minutes, no seconds. I mean, probably seconds, but no minutes uh, after or before that. It's o'clock, right? So if you wanna say that that is in the morning, you can say it's seven in the morning. O, si usted quiere evitarse decir todo en la mañana, o sea, in the morning, solo dice, it's 7 a.m. Normalmente nosotros no decimos, son las 7 en la mañana, nosotros son las 7 de la mañana, right? O decimos, las 7 de la noche, right? So, I mean, this doesn't mean the same thing. I mean, we don't translate the things literal, but that's what it is. Entonces, you can, you can say uh, in the morning, or you can say a.m., You can say in the evening, or you can say p.m., okay? Or, you know, you can say uh, at night, right? Because in la noche, you can say 
at night, or you can say p.m. Now, teacher, what's the difference between at nine and in the evening? The evening, it's actually like we will say something like la tarde noche, right? That's what it is. After, if I'm not mistaken, after 7 p.m., that's considered night. Um, I'm going to check on that. But um, let me see. Give me a second. All right. Uh, yeah. From 6 to 9 p.m., it's actually evening. And from 9 and ahead, it will be actually uh, night. That's what it is. So that's what you guys have to say. Entonces, ustedes pueden usar time expressions, que son eh, expresiones de tiempo, por ejemplo, in the morning, in the evening, at night. At noon, noon it's 12, you know, it's el mediodía, right? At noon, it's noon. In the afternoon, okay, at night, at midnight. Midnight is this time, 12 a.m., medianoche, right? So, questions about these time expressions? No questions? No? No. All clear? No, no questions. Ok, si no tienen preguntas, yo les pregunto. Tranquilo, no se preocupen. Por eso no hay ningún problema. I'm going to ask you. <laughs> All right. So, this is what I'm going to do. Ok. So, I'm going to ask right now to one of you. For example, what time is it? And for example, in the number one, it's two what? Two? Twenty, right? So you're going to answer. It's twenty after two, or you can say it's two twenty. So, uh, Catherine, what time is it in clock number two? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's seven. And I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it is seven to. In, in a Spanish, what time is it, guys? It's seven. I mean, I used to get confused with that as well, but with those clocks. What it's time is it? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> what time, Omar? What time is it? Omar Lizardo? It's six. 50. It's 650. 650. Good job. Okay. All right. It's 650. What's another way to say it? ¿Cuál sería otra forma de decirlo, guys? What would be another way to say it? Mm -hmm. It is 10 to 7. Yes. Good job, Consuelo. Yes. It's 10 to 7. Mm -hmm. That's another way to say it. So, Omar. Ask this question for to one of your classmates. What time is it? Ask that question to one of your classmates about clock number three. It's... No, this one. What time is it? What time is it? Number three? Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero uh, usted pregúntele a uno de sus compañeros por el, la hora en el reloj número tres. Ah, ok, ok. Eh... Um, Aaron Omar, what time is it? It's number three. Uh huh. In clock number three. Uh huh. In clock number three. Quarter at two nine. It's a quarter to. It's a quarter nine. To nine. Okay. What's another way to say it? Uh huh. Chicos, otra forma de decirlo. ¿Cuál sería? What? Uh, yeah, go ahead, Aaron. Go ahead. If you have it, tell me. <laughs> si se lo sabe, diga. <laughs> uh -huh. It's eight forty-five. Okay, it's eight forty-five. Good job. Mm -hmm. Now, you, Aaron, ask somebody else, please, about clock number four. What time is it? And um, number five. 
Consuelo del Rosario. Uh, it's num oh uh, yeah, number five, right, right. You're right. No, it's number four actually. Number four. four. Yes. Uh number four. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Don't worry. It is what? it is eleven to five. It is eleven to five. Eleven, eleven five. Oh five. Oh five. Ajá, uh oh -huh. five. Eleven oh five. Ajá, uh -huh. por eso me dice tú es como a las cinco. Uh -huh. So it will be oh five, eleven oh five. Okay. Oh, What's another way to say it, guys? Uh -huh. Another way to say that? Okay. Actually, what time? Wait, wait. It's okay. We're not going to get... But I'm going to tell you something. Cuando pasan cinco minutos, también podemos decir. It's... I mean, o, o cualquier tiempo que pase. It's five after... After 11. 11. After 11. Mm -hmm. It's five after 11. And it's okay. You can say it that way. Or, uh, yeah, that's okay. You can say it that way. Now you can swallow. Ask another uh, question about clock number five to any of your classmates. Ana Flores. Um, what time is it? Oh, it is o clock five. In clock number In five. Clock in close number five. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. To whom did Ana you ask? Flores. Okay. Miss Flores? No. no? Ask somebody else. Oh, yeah, she's she's working, she says. Okay. Ask somebody else, Consuelo. Another person. Ana Beatriz. Okay. What time is it? Um, oh, uh, clock five. Mm -hmm. Ana Beatriz, hello, hello. No? No está? No está. Tampur, tampoco. <laughs> so let's ask. Next, yeah. Okay, next. <laughs> what time is it? It's a quarter past three. It's a quarter past three. You can say that, yes. Si puede decir past three. You can say it like that. So you can say, let me write something here. You can say it's a quarter past three. Oops, too much, too much ease. Yep, you can say past or you can say after. Uh, both are okay, after or past. Okay, what's another way to say that? ¿Cuál sería otra forma de decirlo, chicos? What's another way to say it? Mm -hmm. It's 3.50. It's 3.50. 3.50. 3.50 or 15? 15. 15. 15. All right. It's 3.15. Okay. Good job. Uh huh. Now, Nixie, can you ask the time uh, about clock number six to one more project? One more person, please. Puede preguntar a alguien más la, la time, please. Jasmine Magdalena. What time is it? Six. Okay. What time is it? What time is it? Oh. Jasmine Magdalena. Hello, hello. What time is it right now? Oh. No, in clock number six. Uh, this six. No, I... 
four, hay como, como se dice, y media. <laughs> good job, good job. Uh, we have a way to say it, but instead of saying Ibeya, you can say like um the minutes exactly. Las seis y media, a las cuatro y media serían las cuatro treinta. So can you use the minutes right now? Puedo usar los minutos. Mm -hmm. Cuatro y media sería. No no sé cómo se dice. Cuatro treinta. Cuatro treinta. ¿Cómo se dice Ajá, eso en inglés? pero el 30, ¿cómo se dice? Se Ajá, me olvidó. ¿cómo se dice 30 en inglés? ¿No se acuerda? No, ahorita no. Teri. Teri. Por, por dere. Ajá. Por dere. For Teri. Good job. Yes, thank you, thank you. That's how you say it. Now, what's another way to say it, guys? ¿Cuál sería otra forma de decirlo, guys? Uh -huh. Ajá, Wilmer quiere decirnos. Díganos, Wilmer, ¿cuál sería otra forma de decirlo? Ya lo vi. <ríe> Soy yo. <ríe> Ajá. Hey, que tengo problemas con los números, por eso trato de repetir. <ríe> eh, digamos, it's very to fine. Yes, yes, you can say that. Sí, puede decir que faltan 30 a las 5. A las, a las uh -huh. Yes, you can say that. Ajá. Uh -huh. So, normalmente no lo decimos, pero si sí lo puede decir. Hey, ¿Cuánto falta a las 5? 30 minutos. Ok, it's 32 to 5. Mm -hmm. So, you can say that. Ok, guys, so just remember, that's basically how we say it. Así que acuérdense, tenemos varias formas de decirlo. Ahí como usted, la que a usted le guste más, como dicen, para los gustos hay colores. <laughs> de verdad, o sea, ahí you can say anything you want. And so, yeah. You know, you can say the, the way that you feel better. Okay, guys. Well, we will stop it right here today. And just for you to remember, um, vamos a quedarnos hasta aquí ahora. Y recuerden, traten de eh, comenzar a avanzar en su, um, I will say, um, platform right here. And if you guys can work on this, if not, we'll do it tomorrow, okay? So, alguna pregunta que tenga antes que los deje ir, chicos? Any question? ¿Cuándo tenemos para contestar el examen final? Ah, es de toda la semana, hasta el jueves. ¿Hasta cuándo tenemos para contestar? Jueves a la medianoche. Ah, ok. Until Thursday midnight. Tell me, Nixia. En cuestiones de los ejercicios, hay problemas por los signos de puntuación. A veces los acepta y a veces no los acepta. Va, cuando les aparezca así, traten de tomarle una captura y enviémosela a Andy, porfa, ahí en el, en el grupo, para que él también esté sabedor. Uh -huh. Sí, igual yo lo estaba reportando, créanme, yo lo estaba reportando también con él, pero tal vez ustedes me puedan ayudar también, así le hacemos más presión, así va. <ríe> para que nos ayuden a revisar ahí, ¿ok? Bueno, Gracias. chicos, see you tomorrow. Bye, bye. You guys take care. Bye, bye. 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 Bye-bye, guys. Take care. See you tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your night. Bye-bye.